Good morning, Friday, April 16, 2021, here at the Mata Hotel, Bangkok, Thailand. Been here since April 12th. Quarantine ends this Tuesday, 6 a.m., April 20th. Today is my COVID-19 test. Let's see what happens. Before going to today's COVID test, I want to take you back to April 8th, 72 hours within my departure to Thailand. One thing essential for everyone heading to Thailand is getting a negative COVID test. Planning it correctly, timing everything where it needs to be in order to get the results um, in a timely manner is essential. Here are some clips of that test. Hello, for the COVID test? Oh, okay. Is it for pre travel or you have a doctor's order? Oh, pre travel. Oh, pre travel? Yeah. Okay. Give you tissues. Okay. This is the deeper one. I go nice and easy. Okay. Once I'm in the right position, I'm going to count to 10 and make circle movements as I test you. All right. But I try not to be really rough, um, but you still may have some sneezing, watery eyes. Oh, yeah. No worries. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There you Maybe go. Maybe back. Is it better if I move back yeah. here? Yeah. And then we'll have your mask right over your mouth, but not totally off. Okay. Okay. And then just do nice, easy breathing through this. Okay. And you can rest your head against the headrest. Here we go. Oh, mask a little bit lower. Oh, sorry. No, nope, you're okay. Okay, do your breathing. That helps keep the nose relaxed. And I do test both sides so we have enough sample. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, catch your breath. Thank you. Okay. Alright, ready? Okay. Same thing. Just might feel different. You gotta sneeze first. Oh no, I'm good. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Sorry. Okay, do you do it again? Good. Now I'm gonna make circle movements again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, my friend. Alright. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. And she's all set with you for refund? She took care of you? Oh, yeah. Okay. She pointed oh, out what sorry. I needed to do. When you can see again, you yeah, can Yeah, that's right. Turn it off. All good, though, but it was good. And then if you try to make your account today and the site mm -hmm. tells you you're too early, that's oh, okay. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. Just wait till tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. Sounds all good. Right. Thanks again. Yeah. Appreciate it. On that same day, April 8th, had an appointment with my PCP for the fit to fly test. As of April 1st, they're saying it is not needed, but when I applied for um, entry to Thailand, um, it was one of the requirements. So went along with it, even though they were saying it wasn't required. <laughs> April 10, the day of my departure, taking all Nippon Airways to Tokyo Haneda Airport. Um, the good thing about ANA was that they were good to go over all the paperwork that was needed for me to get to Thailand. 
uh, making sure everything was set. So I went arrive and having to be sent back to the U.S. Nothing should block the aisle or exits. To prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus, we would like to ask your cooperation to board with an appropriate distance from the passenger in front. As you could see, the flight was not really full, around 25% or maybe less. Um, arrived in Japan April 11. Again, Asia is a day ahead of Hawaii. Um, arrived there right at um, dusk as the sun was setting. Um, and based on my flight itinerary, I would be spending there um, the night um, as my flight to Bangkok would leave the following morning around 10 a.m. ish. The terminal where our connecting flight would be, as you could see, there was no one there. The shops were closed, the restaurants were closed. The only thing open was like vending machines. Um, so pretty much had the whole place to myself. Having spent a long night at gate 109 in Terminal 3, I needed something, and I found it at Dainé Lounge, a short walk and an escalator up from where I would be departing. I wasn't flying business class, but I did have priority pass from two credit cards I used from Chase and American Express. inside yeah. and then come back mm -hmm. okay oh, okay boarding pass with me okay Thank you. Okay. Uh, window side this way So walking to immigration here, 
Um, may as well talk about the documents that are needed to travel to Thailand here, April 2021. Again, things have changed. Um, effective since April 1st, quarantine now is 10 days as opposed to 14 days. The first document I'm um, talking about is a certificate of entry. Um, to get this, you have certain requirements that need to be fulfilled first. Um, you might go to the Thai consulate website to see what these requirements are. In my case, um, one of the big ones was having a Thai visa to get the certificate of entry. Once I had the Thai visa, um, I could apply for the certificate of entry afterwards. Um, there are other requirements, but I won't go into details. It's more complicated, um, but it's all there on the Thai consulate website um, in your country. The second document is the negative COVID test, again, within 72 hours of departure, meaning that you have to have the test within 72 hours, um, and hopefully you get the results back in time before your flight leaves. Our document is health insurance, showing that you have coverage up to $100,000 um, at least in case things go bad, especially traveling during the pandemic. You never know. The document is the ASQ, showing that you have a hotel where you'll be staying for your quarantine. Number five, proof of vaccination. One of the reasons I made this video is to show that it is true. Seven day quarantine is happening in Thailand, only if you show proof of vaccination. You show this vaccination card or whatever your country provides to the medical personnel who ask for your documents. They in turn will give you this stamp. You'll be asked again to show proof of vaccination to immigration and later when you arrive at your ASQ hotel. I was happy quarantine was reduced to 10 days. I was even more thankful seven day quarantine was now possible as an extra three day reduction is time and money saved. Here's a tour of my room at the Mata Hotel. Arrived with meal right outside my room. Inside um, living space with a TV right there. Plenty of water to last the week. Dining table with plates. A kitchen. Stove, coffee. But I really don't drink coffee. Microwave to heat up food. Again, stove top. Place to wash dishes. Really nice sized fridge with a freezer on top. And fridge on the bottom. This is really nice feature having a washer and dryer built in one. bedroom, telephone, window to the bathroom, sink, toilet, AC on top, nice working space, desk, the lamp, nice swivel chair, television, now checking Closet to the right, area to place things opened. Sink with a bathtub. Really nice countertops.
towel rack, soap and other toiletries. Um, plenty of toilet paper last week. Toilet. Oh, and the nice thing about the toilet, it opens up when you walk close to it. Shower. Good size. Yeah, it's pretty much about it. Again, there's a closet again. And a good size space for one week for one person. I had a nice size balcony where I could get fresh air and work out daily. Also, the bathtub was a nice place to cool off and pass the time. The day of the COVID test finally arrived. Unlike in the U.S., the sample took from the mouth, as shown right here. And from the nose. After the only COVID test that we've taken on my quarantine came out negative, I was able now to enjoy other parts of the hotel. Um, more privileges to get fresh air on the eighth floor here on the pool deck of the